Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Pogo Dad. We are back at it because your boy's a pack at it, guys. We've got some three pack blisters of Scarlet and Violet, guys. We got two of each. We got two of the Don Dozo. Boom and boom. And then we got two of the Arcanine. I picked these up at Target and they've been sitting here for too long. They got to get opened up. So we're going to open up both of these in today's video. So if you guys like this type of stuff, smash the like, subscribe if you're new, and let's go ahead and open these babies up. First up, we're going to take a look at the Arcanine and I gotta tell you guys these promos with that Cosmos foiling and those hollow borders these are gorgeous oh my gosh and that's gonna be promo number 11 and then we've got the Don Dozo and that's gonna be Scarlet and Violet 12 right there guys let me know which one is your favorite gotta be the Arcanine for me here's the code card for all of those and let's just go ahead we'll go ahead and get into Don Dozo first Don Dozo's on this side so we got six packs versus six packs not really a versus I mean they're all freaking random. It doesn't really matter. But guys, we're looking for some illustration rares today. I haven't pulled very many illustration rares. We have pulled a couple Merriams. I mean, that's a nice problem to have. But I want to try to complete this set. So let's see. Do we get anything in pack number one? Oh, we got the Coridon EX on that. Okay. Nice little Coridon EX coming out. But yeah, how have you guys been liking Scarlet and Violet? It's been treating us pretty well. I really want to get the drowsy comia that's one of my chase cards for this set and the slow poke oh about to hit my own hand all right we got the killer watch roll. we have a pomo electric generator into a hollow but yeah you these are super hit or miss when it comes to three pack blisters i think hit wise you're looking for around one in six packs you might get a hit so maybe Right on will be the only one for this side. We'll just have to take a look and see. Oh, special illustration rare Jack. That is a new card to the collection. Let's go. Yo, I've had some really good luck with Scarlet and Violet. Yo, that is a gorgeous looking special illustration artwork. What do you guys think about that? Okay, man. Man, I feel like every opening for Scarlet and Violet, we've been pulling one of those. Uh, not going to complain. That's a nice problem to have. <laughs> Yo, guys, smash the like. Let's see what else we can get. But yeah, I really want to get the Drowsy. Um, what else was it? I think it was the Pachirisu. Pachirisu is a sick card. But um, yeah, I'll have to take a look at the set again. I haven't really taken a look at every card that's in this set. Still, to this day, I still haven't looked at it. But um, it's been a freaking really fun set. Nest Ball is a good card in the TCG. All right, we got a Slow Poke, so Viper, and an Armor Rouge, and a Go Kart. All right, here we go. Last pack for Don Dozo, and these have the black border. Uh, I'm interested to see if the other three pack blisters should have black borders too. I think that's usually how it rolls. All right, we got this, we got that. Oh, baby. Let's go. We got the Curlia. Baby, that's a nice one right there. So, yeah, we need this one to evolve. We need to get into that Gardevoir. We got a Professor's Research. Yo, Don Dozo came out to play today. So, these right here are going to be from the Arcanine. And, uh, yeah. That's, yo, so see, this is weird. This is a white border code card. These came from the same exact store, guys. Same exact target. I got two of each. So that is crazy. Okay. White border code cards. What you gonna have? Oh my god. No way! Penny special illustration art. What? Oh my oh my god. Gardevoir EX on the full art. Get that code right there. Have I told you guys how much I like Scarlet and Violet? Holy smokes, we've gotten two special illustration rares. And we've got a full art. That was out of one pack. Arcanine, what are you doing? Okay, so, all right, we're probably not gonna pull anything else. There's there's no way. There's just no way that we could pull anything else out of these packs. Wow, guys, you must have smashed a like. Ooh, ooh, we got the favorite slow bro. We got the Squovit, and we got the Rever Room and a code, okay, yo. Man, I, I, I'm kind of speechless right now. I don't even know what to say. I really wanted the penny. I wanted all the special artworks, you know. Man. All right, we got the Merriam Spirit Tomb Fortress. I have to look out for that, that dang <laughs> reverse slot because every time 
there's like something sparkly and I don't catch it. That's the good thing about the Scarlet and Violet packs. Since they all have the silver border, it is very hard to tell if you got a peaky peaky. Especially with having a hollow bordered holographic in the back of every pack. It's it's like, it's, it's just a hollow. See, we got a cloth. But that's cool, that's cool. With two packs left. We want the Gyarados with the white background. Those are the next chase cards on the list. Can we do it? Can we do it? We got a nice little Komiya sand dial. Now we need that Komiya drowsy. All right, we got the Sputba. We got a Magnemite into another cloth. All right, last pack, guys. Smash the like. Appreciate you guys, as always, for checking out the video. We, uh, we had to take a break from the MetaZoo openings today to get into some more Scarlet and Violet. And oh my gosh, has it paid off? Man, this has been a good opening. All right, we got the Toad Screw, Cyclizar, Vitality Band, Tarantula, we got the Didine, and a Quokkaball. Pulls were insane, but guys, we're gonna take a break from Evolving Skies because I've kind of run out. What? So we're gonna take a break from that. We're gonna get into Brilliant Stars because we still haven't pulled any of the Chase Charizards from Brilliant Stars. I don't even think we've gotten the Arceus. So uh, let's, just, let's just see what we can do, as always. Much love to everybody for checking out the video. We're on the road to 5K. We'll get there. We'll get there when we get there. Doesn't really matter. Subs don't really count. Getting subs is cool. But you know what? I'm not even about that anymore. I just want to help grow the community, have some fun. And uh, that's basically it. Subs doesn't really count as much for me anymore. But I appreciate it nonetheless. All right, we got a Moltres ending it on. But let me know which one you liked in the comments down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.